Are you sleeping? Yeah. Well, you know, last month I was, you know, they said I was terminal, so I've been losing sleep after that. Good. Now I'm going to tell you a story. What? No, I don't want to hear a story. I'm going to tell you. Well, Dad, to be honest, I'm actually a little scared. It's my story. I can tell it. Anyway, in Arizona, Detroit, there are these two cops. One, two, cops. Okay, boys, 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 welcome back to the show, and by show, I mean the police department. It's a, it's a ride. Hot, hot coffee, boys. It's like lava is falling down your colon. Anyway, I've called you here today because there has been an extreme amount of pressure on me, the, the police commissioner, of course, because... This man named Grease has been walking around. A man that I gave a sign to you last month and he still walks free. Now can you explain that to me boys? Why one of the criminals is still free? We've been close, like me and Alex close. Like, hey Grease, I'm over here. But you know, he's just he's always gone away. And it's hot. Very hot. Don't worry, Officer Gross. I'm sure we're gonna get him any second. Maybe. He's, he's down to get into trouble, like, all the time. In fact, I bet you, on my gun slash cell phone, somebody's going to call me right now saying they've got him in trouble. Oh, it's ringing right now. Hello? What? Chicken nuggets? Code red? We got it. Go to sleep. 